Hey guys, it's Chris. From the remains of mermaids to creatures we didn't know existed until they arrived on the surface and more. Join me as I show you eight sea monster carcasses found on the beach. Number eight, oarfish. The depths of the ocean hide many wonders, and one of those wonders is the oarfish. This is a large fish that is the largest bony fish alive that we know of. The largest one ever discovered was 36 feet long. Yet when it was first viewed, not many thought it was a truly real fish, mainly because it was too big or too monstrous to be real, and very much unlike anything else we'd ever seen before. Eventually, obviously, it was proven to be very real, and then many felt that this was the inspiration for the legends of sea serpents and sea dragons. This could be very true, because they can be found in places like China, and it's possible they're even in other areas. But since the oarfish prefers to live at massive depths, they're not seen too often on the surface, so it's hard to track them. Some scientists believe that they live at nearly 3,000 feet below sea level. The few times we do see them is when they wash up dead on shore after dying like many other sea creatures in the past. This is due in part to their muscle structure. In the depths of the ocean, things are much calmer. But get closer to the surface and you have tides and currents pulling you every which way. That's why they end up on beaches because they're almost literally dragged there. More research is being done on oarfish to learn even more about them. Number 7. Beached Whales the idea of a beached whale being a sea monster may not seem right to some, but it's an accurate summation of events that may have happened over the course of many years. This is mainly because beached whales happening at all is one of the biggest mysteries of the ocean. We've all seen the pictures and footage of people trying to help a whale get off of the beach and into the water once more. But how do they get there in the first place? Think about it in the scientific sense. Whales are massive creatures, weighing numerous tons, and are sometimes longer than a bus. The biggest species is the blue whale, which can reach over 100 feet in length, and yet they got washed up on the beach for all the world to see. And to be clear, they're not just washing up a few inches onto the beach, but sometimes several yards. So how does that happen? How does the water have enough grit and power on a beach to throw a whale upon it? Now, a dead whale you might be able to pitch an idea for given dead weight and no resistance. However, most beach whales are alive. So how could a live creature of that size get tossed onto the beach? Scientists truly don't know how this happens, and that's why it's scary in certain ways. Because when you think about it, it honestly shouldn't happen, and yet it does. Another facet of the sea monster bit is that when it's a dead beached whale, its body is sometimes bloated beyond recognition, sometimes leading to people thinking that they're looking at a true monster. And now for number six. But first, let me know if you've ever seen a sea monster in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, you know what to do. Number six, squids. Squids are one of the most interesting creatures in the oceans, and they're ones that scientists are desperate to study for a whole host of reasons especially since much of what we know about them is because they've washed up on beaches. There are a lot of mysteries around how squids end up on beaches too, mainly because most of them live hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of feet below sea level. So when they die, they honestly shouldn't make it to the surface without help, but they do, which is how we first discovered them and proved their existence was more than myth in stories told by sailors. The common theory is that ones that die and end up on beaches of the world were ones that were already pretty close to the surface to start with. Hence, there wasn't much of an issue getting caught in the right tide or current and bringing them ashore. Regardless of the how, the discoveries of squids on beaches helped lead all sorts of discoveries about the species. And for that, we should be really grateful. Scientists are certainly grateful, for even though we don't know everything about giant squids, and similar squids of equal size, we're learning. If you're curious, squid beaching still happen to this day and are still one of the more reliable ways of studying them, since finding them in the depths of the ocean can be difficult and seriously dangerous. Number 5. Mermaid When you think of Scotland, you likely go towards the legend of another mythical creature known as the Loch Ness Monster. But in fact, the country has one of the most interesting mermaid tales you'll ever hear, and it's one that features a mermaid getting washed up on a beach. In 1830, the town of Benbecula had some of their citizens on a beach like a regular day. Suddenly, a woman saw something odd in the water. It was a miniature woman, which is what the Scots believe are the size of mermaids. The woman alerted her fellow townspeople, and they tried to capture the mermaid but failed. In the process, though, some boys were able to throw rocks at it, and some of them hit. 
A couple of days later, sadly, the mermaid actually washed up on shore dead. She had a scaleless fishtail and generally looked like the local legends of mermaids. Seeing the dead being, the town sheriff declared that they would give the mermaid a proper burial. And to further honor the mermaid, they buried her on the beach, or so the legend goes. Even though the story has been told for generations, no one can find the grave. That's not to say it didn't happen, but no one can find it. If it was found, it would lend credence to many mermaid tales over the years, including many who claim to have seen living mermaids on beaches all over the world. Number 4. Muri Way Monster in 2016, a man was walking down the beach of Muri Way in Auckland, New Zealand when he found something he didn't expect. A monster. The creature was massive and appeared to be nothing short of a beast from below the depths, one that would later be named the Muri Way Monster. Eventually, scientists came down and observed the monster and revealed that it was in fact driftwood. But not just wood, obviously, but a large piece of wood that was covered in gooseneck barnacles. I'm sure you think it's odd that so many of these barnacles are on a piece of wood, but that's because this particular species of them, known as Lepas anatifera, is a barnacle that lives via attaching itself to objects underwater. They do this in massive colonies, and then eat by using the tubes that their bodies have to filter feed. The tubes are known as pedunculus, and they can grow up to 31 inches long, which was part of the reason people felt the barnacle colony was a monster, because of all the tendrils wriggling around. Arguably a bigger irony than the reveal of the monster was that the monster was only found because a recent earthquake had pushed it ashore. Imagine what would have happened if it had been found underwater. Number 3. The Philippines Hair Bob in 2018, a white creature appeared on a beach in the Philippines, and no one could tell what it was or wasn't. Not the least of which was because of its blob shape and the fact that it was covered in hair. Also, the globster, as it was called by the locals, was over 20 feet long. People looked upon it and saw it as an omen. It has been told that when creatures from the deepest parts of the ocean start appearing, something bad will happen. Vincent Della Pena Badillo told The Sun on Sunday. Samples of the creature were sent to a lab for identification. And believe it or not, this is not the first globster to arrive in the Philippines. And in fact, they've been spotted all over the world, including in Russia and the United States. So is this a string of monsters surfacing after a long life? Well, not exactly. Though some have never been fully identified, others have been confirmed to be decomposed whales, squids, and other deep sea creatures, including the hair bob they were seeing on the beach. As for the hair of the creatures that people love to talk about, these are the remains of the muscle and fiber tissue that is within them. Number 2. Sea Monster in New Zealand On a New Zealand beach known as Bay of Plenty in 2013, a carcass of a sea monster appeared. The creature was massive and scary in appearance thanks to its decomposed state, as well as the massive teeth that were revealed to everyone who looked at it. It was 30 feet in length, and there are only a few sets of aquatic life that can grow to that length that we know of. Focusing on the teeth, there were over a dozen very long and very sharp teeth in the mouth, which seemed to point to this creature being a powerful predator of some type. Eventually, the mystery of the creature's identity was revealed by marine mammal expert Anton von Helden, who after examining the fin of the decomposed creature revealed that it was just a killer whale. But how can that be? Killer whales wouldn't look like this, right? Except that killer whales are on average about 26 feet in length, but have been known to grow larger at times. What's more, the killer whale has very sharp teeth as they use them to hunt things like seals, even been known to take bites out of sharks. The decomposed state led to its more natural features being muddled and not as recognizable. Number 1. Monster Eels Sometimes it's hard to classify a fish that you snag or is washed up on a beach because it doesn't look like anything you've seen before. To that end, there have been two cases of monster eels that have been documented over the years. The first was found in 2017 on Sand Bridge Beach by a person who was walking along it when she came across an 8-inch long silver fish that looked like an eel in her eyes. It had no scales, had a long undulating dorsal fin running the length of its body, and its teeth are like a dog's teeth with fangs to boot. After doing some research, she found it was a young cutlass fish, and the reason it was 8 inches long is because it was a juvenile fish. Usually they grow to be over 5 feet long. Then in 2019 in Australia, two anglers pulled up a 6 inch fish that also resembled an eel, but one that could be defined as a sci-fi monster. It's like purpley brown, angler T. Honkin told ABC News. It had a really weird head, but the body was like an eel and it didn't even move or wriggle. It was like stunned, like stealth mode. 
Just as curious was the fact that it had teeth that were long and sharp and didn't seem to match the type of fish the anglers were looking at. Later on, it was revealed to be a worm gobby, which in and of itself is a rare find, because humans rarely see them due to the fact that they're usually hiding underneath mud. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these sea monster carcasses that washed up on the beach? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World List.